Well, everyone, we're out here today at our local pond with 150 geese, I swear. I don't know if you guys can see all of those geese. It's like 150 geese over there. But well, we're gonna try and fish for a bunch of bluegill today. Having really, really good luck this fall with bluegill. So we're gonna do a video on us getting on some bluegill today and hopefully getting a bunch of bait. Let's do it. All right, we're just gonna get us a simple piece of worm on here. I have the tiniest hook on the planet. I don't even know what size it is for real. Like tiny, hey, look at that. What we're gonna do though, is I'm gonna take the worm and pinch off steps squirming so much like the tiniest little piece see that feed it on just like that now what i'm gonna do so this bad boy out. i don't even have it down that low like maybe a foot maybe throw it out wait for a bite which hopefully doesn't take too long i know they're down there sometimes we have to get a feeding frenzy going we'll throw a little bit of bread out and Get them going real good in a group, and then they'll start biting on the worms and stuff too. Sometimes we'll catch perch, sometimes we'll catch crappie. See if they're gonna be finicky today. It's been raining and cold, and so they could be pretty finicky. See if they're close in. Usually, you see them hitting it pretty instant. As you can see, it's raining still. In there. Bobber fishing, man. So much fun. I know he's down there. Gotta give him a bite. They get finicky during this time of year. It's cold. They're not feeding like they do normally. Don't worry, I'll get Allison out here. She's the champ at catching these blue, I swear, dude. She'll like have it out there for barely a few minutes and she's got like five blue veal in and stuff like that and I've got like one. <laughs> she's behind the camera right now. Recording me not catching fish. See what they want. Sometimes they like movement, sometimes they don't. They're down there, all right. They're just hiding in those rocks and being finicky. Being finicky, yeah. Playing games. Oop. They want that. Oh, and... yeah, there's a bunch of rocks down there, forming a different couple layers. That's where they like to hide down here on this side. Take my worm? No? I'm probably about like, what, two, three feet down? Yeah. Nice. Got one finally. Yeah, look at that chunky monkey. Nice. They're being so finicky today, we're going to take every single one we can get. They're going in the bucket, and then when we get home, I'm going to do a water change on the bait tank. And get all the bluegill moved into the new the bait tank in the fresh water. For sure. Nice. In the bucket. In the bucket. Nice. Let's get on them. As you can see, like she said, they're down there in the rocks. There's so many geese over there. I told you, there's like a hundred and some over there, I swear. So many.
Just using little Zebcos. Doc Demons probably had these for what, like three years? Yeah, I caught catfish as big as the Zebcos, channel cat. They're awesome fun. I love these rods. They go through heck and back and take a beating, no problem. That's They're for great sure. Great for kids, great for adults. Little spinning Zebcos. Like the John boat because it's so tiny. Yeah, tiny rods, little ice rods. They like your side today, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Did you get one? No. Missed him. I don't know if they like my side. They just keep playing with my bobber. Yeah, right. They're being really finicky. Nice. Got him. That's big. Babe, that's big. It's a bass. It's a bass. <laughs> yes, it is. Bring him in. Yes. Heck yeah. Nice, big. Look at that. Fall bass. Fall bass. Were you recording? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Heck yeah. You're a bluegill fishing a babe catching bass. Huh? Should we use him for flathead bait? Right. Well, as you can see, guys, worms are also good for bass fishing. <laughs> I'll say lift them up. Calm down. The line's got to come first. All right. Nice little tiny large mouth right there. And that worm. Feels huge on that little rod though. Oh yeah. They put up a heck of a fight. Yeah, those ice little ice fishing jigs Funny are pretty cool. Guy. Yeah. He's got this all kinds of sideways. Got it. Yep. A little worm. A little hook. Nice little bass. Let him go. Back to bluegill fishing. Back to bluegill fishing. Or bass fishing, right. or crappie fishing, or perch fishing, who knows? Right fishing. Ooh, he took my worm. Empty hook, guys. It's a new piece of worm here. A little pinch. Hmm? All those geese, man. They're back out there. It's bluegill or bait stealers, man. Mm -hmm. Just nibble barely on your hook and then... Yeah. Suck your worm off. Yeah. I think they're liking that movement right now. Mm. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Got him. Nice. We had to bribe him with bread, guys. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Right? Oh, well, there he goes. And I'm in the bucket. You been oh, on my worm? I had him for like a <laughs> second. He stole my worm. <laughs> oh, dear, I'm gonna get to have a catch on the last two of I wouldn't doubt it. Sometimes they do that, too. I'm gonna have bread. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. 
Nice patty bluegill. Nice bluegill, for sure. Getting on him finally. Finally. On that worm again. I swear, once you get him like Nice, selfie, double you... up. Look at that patty. Yeah, he is. Oh my gosh, that's going to be live bait tomorrow. Maybe I'll catch like a Pop six pounder. pounder with it. Like, look at the size of this bluegill compared to the one you just caught. Nice, double up. Like, do you see that though? Heck yeah. Like, that's a feeder right there. That'll be a great live bait. bait. No joke. That's a patty. We a great life, eh? Double up. Boogie. <laughs> In the bucket. Yes. On bread. And Allie caught hers on a worm. Isn't that funny? Yep. Use any type of bait, you guys. These fish are just finicky and weird when it starts to get cold, so use it all. For sure. God, babe, that was the tiniest bluegill. Did you see that thing <laughs> yeah, fall off my hook? It was the tiniest bluegill on the planet. That's funny. Get him, babe, get him! Even bluegill fishing is exciting. Oh, Do you yeah. see that? They're literally just Plan. playing with my bobber. Like Some big bubbles. Nice. Got one. Finally. Thought we were just feeding up there for a second. These guys get real pale when the water starts to get cold too. It's crazy. Look at that. Look at that purple. So pretty. Let's get him in there. Yay, yay. So excited. I'm using bread. I think Allie's still using worm. Yep. We're just going for whatever they'll bite for at this point. Oh, here we go. Nice. Got him. Another blue gear candy in the bucket. Ooh. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, All right. right. Don't fall on the rocks. Get him in the bucket. Little guys, but the little guys work. Literally caught my biggest PD flathead on a tiny guy, just like this teeny tiny guy. Finicky. Wind, man. Got Heck him. yeah. Finally. These dudes are just playing. It's all right. We're catching bait slowly but surely today. Another one for the bucket. Yes. And I know everyone will say, well, like, why don't you just catch a bunch in the summer when you're slaying them? And because that's not what fish want. They want fresh, that fresh bait. We Five. take these and put them in the bait tank. They last a week or two. We feed them, we keep them. And uh, we use them for flathead and blues and channels. They all like that live bait, cut bait, fresh. So that's why we're doing what we're doing today, getting on that flathead candy. So excited, I can't wait to go fishing in the morning. They're such bad heads. Nice. Got him. Another one for the bucket. Another one for the bucket. Good old Benoit bait bucket. Heck yeah. Just a little guy, but like Allison said, she caught her 43 pounder on just a little guy just like that. So keep scooping them up. Make sure we have enough bait. The bluegill especially are gonna be finicky. Uh, make sure we have enough bait for hopefully this weekend and next weekend. Make sure the bank ta bait tank is nice and full. We'll take some video footage for you guys after I clean it and stuff and refresh the water and put all the fish in and we'll take some video footage for you guys so you guys can see our bait tank when it's nice and full. Let's get them. Um... Got him, that's a big one, babe. Look at this one, yeah. just like the other one. We got two nice packs in the tub. Nice. Look at that fish. Like, mm -hmm. all the other guys are super tiny. Nice. Like, I know those aren't very big bluegill, I know. <laughs> but, like, those are tanks. All the other ones we've been catching are tiny. Like, so let's, here, let's see. 
Spicy too, which is good. We want the spicy ones. Yeah. Let's get him in the bucket. In the bucket. Let's go. Nice, Bluegill. Let's go and take this guy. Put him in the bucket. Look at that guy. Look at the colors. Let's go. All I'm doing, guys, with the bread, if you're, if you're curious on what I'm doing, like I said, we got this tiny little hook. I'm taking a piece of the inside of the bread like this big, and I'm taking it and I'm wrapping it around the hook and just pinching it into the tightest little ball that I can get it. Like that. Kind of flat, I guess, too. And then I'm taking it and putting it out there. That's how I'm catching them. Just like that. Bread and worms. Let's get it. Catching him today. He's just a little skinny guy. Look at how tiny he is. He's kind of cute. Wait, stop moving, bro. Why do the little guys flop the most? Look at how little he is. He's so cute. I think I'm going to let him go. We're just going to let him go. Did he just stay down there in the muck? No, he left. <laughs> Look at him going towards the weed. Heck yeah. <laughs> a little guy. <laughs> I'll take it, but that one was a patty I just lost. A patty. It's alright, I can't take all the patties out, right? They gotta have, we gotta have big ones for in the spring. Nice little guy. To tank. add to the bucket. Go ahead. Let them get some air. Get us another red ball. Get it back down there. Catching them. Catch. Got another patty, guys. Look at him. Another one. It means we're going to have plenty of cut bait, plenty of live bait. We're going to be ready for this weekend and next weekend. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Well, guys, last bluegill in the bucket. We'll get some footage once we go over to the house. It's also getting too dark. I'll be here very soon for the GoPro to even see you guys, us and the fish. So we're going to go ahead and get this bucket and head on back over to the house. You can probably hear the basset hound of our neighbors barking at us. And uh, we'll get some video footage of, for you guys of them in the tank. Maybe we'll drop the GoPro down in there and like let them swim all around it. That'd be super cool because there's going to be so many in there. So see you guys when we get home.